everyone, welcome back to Popcorn Roulette. My name is Cami. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We're a new channel. We're getting started, guys. Um, today, I am watching Star Trek Wrath of Khan. I have watched Star Trek the movie over on Patreon. If you guys want to go check that out, it's living over there. You can watch the full watch along with me. And I have a little bit of a Star Trek background, but not much. I've seen the Chris Pine, the original first one that's it <laughs> and then my uncle used to watch the tv show but it was like we were babysitting we had to go to bed so we barely caught any of it uh so i'm excited i have not much star trek knowledge and i'm going through this series now we're going to do it through the tri trilogy two three and four i'll be watching the other two five and six and those will be over on patreon for you guys so i'm very excited to continue uh, the last one was interesting. It was long. It was long in parts, but it was really interesting and good. It was good. I like the characters. Also, my shirt is yellow. Is this a good color for the movie? Last time I wore a different color, which you guys can check out if you go over to Patreon, but I'm trying to theme myself with the shirts. Uh, let me know if it's a good decision, okay? Is the yellow good? <laughs> let me know. Um, I'm excited to chat with you guys in the comments. Once again, the full watch along for Star Trek The Wrath of Khan will be over on Patreon, so you can check that out and the first one over there. Let's get started. Paramount logo. No, it's going down. It's going down. Oh, the music already. I always notice the music right away. It's intense. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, the stars. Boop. <laughs> I really don't know what to expect with this one. <laughs> the other one was a, a tad lengthy in parts. Okay. Star Trek 2, The Wrath of God. <laughs> William Shatner, the one and the only. Leonard Nimoy, DeForest Kelly, I don't know if I'm not saying that wrong, James Duhon, Walter George Tecky, I gotta put the character, Nich oh, Nichelle, Bibi, <laughs> Merritt Buttrick, <laughs> Paul Winfield as Terrell, Christy Alley! Christy Alley? I didn't know she was in this. Ricardo Matalaba? I'm just gonna say these all wrong. <laughs> Jean. James Horner. Now that's why the score is so good. He's one of my favorites. Created by Gene Roddenberry. Nicholas, Nicholas Meyer. I don't know who that is or what he's directed. In the 23rd century. Captain's log, star date, 8130. Star date. Ship Enterprise on training mission to Gamma Hydra. There he is. Stand by. Pro Christy Alley, this is so crazy! I had no idea she was in these. Captain, I'm getting something on the distress channel. On speakers. Wow, it's so weird to see her in this. I, I mean, I used to watch her in, like, Look Who's Talking when I was little and all that jazz. Data on Kobayashi Maru. Subject vessel is third class. Kobayashi Maru, that's a cool name. I'm aware of my responsibilities, mister. <laughs> I'm trying to remember his name, the actor. I've lost their signal. Alert. Sensors indicate three Klingon cruisers. Everybody looks at <laughs> each other. You! <laughs> Mr. Sulu, get us out of here. I'll try, Captain. Alert. Klingon torpedoes activated. Evasive action! Oh boy. Oh boy. Watch out, guys. Oh, wow. Fire all faces. She's like so stern still. Everybody's just blowing up. Oh. She's lost her crew. I'm surprised she's not moving, like, she's just there. 
Any suggestions, Admiral? Prayer, Mr. Sapphic. The Klingons don't take prisoners. Is that... Lights. Is that him? Yes. It's him. Trainees, to the briefing room. Oh! Trainees? You know, I totally believe that. <laughs> Aren't you dead? Aren't you dead? It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Message, Spock? Of course. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Is it his birthday today? Space shuttle leaving in 15 minutes. Where are you off tonight? The Enterprise. I must check in before your inspection. And you. Home. Going home. What is it? Playing on aphrodisiacs? No. Glasses? OK. <laughs> recommend retinox spy. I'm allergic to retinox. Uh-oh. <laughs> Such a funny reaction. Damn it, Jim, what the hell is the matter with you? Oh. Other people have birthdays. Why are we treating yours like a funeral? Bones, I don't want to be lectured. What the hell? What's going on? He doesn't like his birthday? It's about you flying a goddamn computer console. You want to be out there hopping galaxies. Hiding behind rules and regulations. Who am I hiding? Is he not able to fly right now? I'm your doctor, <laughs> and I'm your friend. Get back your command. Get it back before you turn into part of this collection. I was going to say, he has quite a collection. <laughs> he has to be in space. Maybe it's something we can transplant. Something you can transplant? Yes, something you can transplant. <laughs> she disapproves. You boys have to be clear on this. There can't be so much as a microbe or the show's off. But if it is something that can be moved, you I want... You bet, Doctor. We're on our way. She's a cautious one. Remember that overgrown boy scout you mm. used to hang around with? That's exactly the kind of Just man I kiddo. I was going to say, overgrown boy scout. Is she talking about Kirk? Captain Terrell, stand by to beam down. Look at that. Who's getting beamed? Is it Spock? Is it Kirk? Check off. Check off, okay. Captain, this is the garden spot to see the Alpha 6. I can barely see it. Yeah, visibility looks a little low. Oh, what are they going to find? Someone living there? Looks like someone was living there. What the hell happened? They crash, and where's the rest of the ship? Yeah. That doesn't look like it's been touched in a while. Is that, is that like a little pet? What the hell is that? Or, uh, probably not. It's probably like a, I don't know, examining a specimen. Botany Bay. Oh, no. What? What's that? We've got to get out of here now. What about, Hurry. What, what about the Never mind. Board? Why? Come on, check off. What's the matter with you? Check off. Is it like future? Are they surrounded? Starship reliant to Captain Terrell. Let's see, Kirk's gonna have to come save them. Let's give them a little more time. Are you sure about that? Okay. <laughs> the Wrath of Khan. So, look at these hairdos. I never forget the face, Mr. Chankle. Yeah, he remembers. Isn't it? That guy just tightened his grip on them. Check off who is this man? Criminal captain. A product of late 20th century genetic engineering. Genetic engineering? The remains of the ship's company of my room here 15 years ago by Captain James D. Uh oh. Never told you how the Enterprise picked up the Botany Bay lost in space from the year 1996. Oh. 96. I've never even met Admiral Kirk. Admiral. Admiral. Oh. Admiral. He knows he's still out there. He's an admiral now. Never told you how Admiral. Kirk sent 70 of us into exile in this barren sand heap. How did they make it? 30 Alpha 6 exploded 
six months after we were left. Mm. Our milk uh, never bothered to check on our progress. It was only the fact of my genetically engineered intellect. <laughs> genetically engineered intellect? Trying to steal his ship and murder him. You didn't expect to find me. You thought this was Seti Alpha 6. No, they did not expect to find you. He was trying to run. <laughs> Some kind of space bug? They killed 20 of my people. He's sweating. Moving my beloved wife. Uh, killed his wife? Bro, what are you doing? Oh, not all at once. Ew. That's weird. <laughs> Look like little space leeches. Uh, this has the effect of rendering the victim extremely susceptible to uh, suggestion. Okay. <laughs> Almost madness. Yes. It's like, which one of you goes first? <laughs> Kurt was only doing his duty. Did they put them in the helmets? No! No! no. No, no, that's so weird. They're both screaming. <laughs> I mean, of course, but the way they're screaming is kind of funny. And tell me where I may find James Kirk. Enterprise. He's wearing the glasses. Enterprise, this is Admiral Kirk's party on final approach. Enterprise welcomes hmm. you. Prepare for docking. No, I don't think they'll be giving us the same tour of the ship as they, <laughs> as they did in the other one. We'll see, though. We'll see. Shall we start with the engine? We'll see you there, sir, and everything is in order. That'll be a pleasant surprise, Mr. Scott. I'll see you on the bridge. Scott, he's great. You should not laugh. You're funny. You are free of weak man, Otlum. Is Vengi? He's so human. Okay, what's the first order of business, guys? Cleaning off the desk. No. <laughs> Admiral, what about the rest of the inspection? <laughs> so we're good. It's fine. The Starfleet operations. Enterprise is clear for departure. Admiral on the bridge. There he is, where he belongs. For everything, there is a first time, Lieutenant. Don't you agree, Admiral? Agree. It's a fact. The Enterprise. I've grown quite used to those spacemen floating around in all the shots. I love how James Horner, he just has such a stamp on all his music. There she goes. All materials of Project Genesis will be transferred to this ship for immediate testing on CT Alpha 6. Who in the hell did they <laughs> Who authorized this? The order comes from... Is he gonna say Kirk? Admiral James T. Kirk. Yeah. Please prepare to deliver Genesis to us He's... upon our arrival. Reliant out. So strange. So is he well, being totally controlled by that? You realize, sir, they will attempt to contact Admiral Kirk and confirm the order. He's like, yes, I, <laughs> I have anticipated for that. We learn by doing. Who's been holding up the damn elevator? <laughs> Thank you, sir. It was only for a minute. She change your hairstyle? Oh my gosh. I can hear you, Carol. What's wrong? What, what's the matter? Why are you taking Genesis away from us? Like, what are you talking about? What order? Who's taking Genesis? Please help us, Jim. I'm trying. will not let them have Genesis without proper authorization. Have Genesis. Oh, what a time for the system to fail. Come on. He knew that was going to happen. Starfleet has kept the peace for a hundred years. I cannot and will not subscribe to your interpretation of this event. Your interpretation? What about Reliant? She's on her way. Come on, Kirk. You gotta do something. 
I told Starfleet Command all we had, a boatload of children. A boatload of children. But we're the only ship in the quadrant. Well, check it out. Khan is trying to rub you in. Just get me to regular one. I am content to command the Enterprise. I am a Vulcan. I have no ego to bruise. I have no ego to bruise. That's kind of great. Commanding a starship is your first best destiny. Anything else is a waste of material. I would not presume to debate you. That is wise. <laughs> that is... Yeah, I love him. You are my superior officer. You are also my friend. I have been and always shall be yours. Besties for life. <laughs> you have proved your superior intellect and defeated mm. the plans of Admiral Kirk. I feel like he doesn't want to... You do not need to defeat him. Yeah, again. he doesn't want to do it. I thought so. It's like, let's just go be happy somewhere else. I'll chase him round the moons of Nibia and round perdition's flame, or I give him up. Yeah, he is highly better. <laughs> He's ready to go. No use. There's no response from regular one. But no longer jammed. No, sir. No, nothing. He can't even contact them. Hmm. They're unable to respond. They're unwilling to respond. How far? 12 hours, 43 minutes, present speed. 12 hours away? Stage one of our experiments was conducted in the laboratory. Stage two of the series will be attempted in a lifeless underground. Oh, a lifeless underground. It is our intention to introduce the Genesis device into a pre-selected area of a lifeless space body, a moon or other dead form. That's interesting. <laughs> Matter is reorganized with life-generating results. It's a little bit creepy. <laughs> Have they tried this before? <laughs> when we consider the cause problems of population and food supply, the usefulness of this process becomes clear. It literally is Genesis. That's an appropriate name. As a matter of cosmic history, it has always been easier <laughs> to destroy than to create. Not anymore. Now we can do both at the same time. <laughs> According to myth, the Earth was created in six days. Yeah. Now watch out. Here comes Genesis. We'll do it for you in six minutes. Oh, boy. <laughs> six minutes. That'd be... My God. The man's talking about logic. We're talking about universal Armageddon. You green-blooded inhuman. Bridge to Admiral <laughs> so you want to challenge me? Picture Mr. Savick. Be careful. Slow to one half impulse power. Let's be fair. <laughs> Look at these guys in the ship. It looks so funny. The Admiral is well aware of the regulations. I see. Yeah, but are they are they gonna follow that? Because is it possible that comm systems fail? I don't think they've established. It would explain a great many things. They're requesting communication, sir. <laughs> They're like the rebels in the ship. They're still running with shields down. Yeah. Bench is a dish that is best served cold. It is very cold in space. And it's headed right for each other. I'm getting a voice message. They say their chamber's coil is overloading their comm system. Mm -mm. Don't buy it. Then coil emissions are normal. It's great he could check that so quick. Locking phases oh, on time. They're locking phases. Ray shields. Fire! No, you guys should have done it quicker. Oh. This is not a test. <laughs> Come on, get those shields up. Come on, guys. Oh boy, <laughs> all these guys are just so new. Just hanging on, sir. Out. He's like, okay, I'll try it. Sulu, divert all power to phasers. Too late. Hang oh. on. They're gonna hit him again. Come on. Where are the shields? I mean, I, maybe they can't go up. In a few minutes. We don't have a few minutes. I'm like trying to see what's going on. Admiral, the commander of the Reliant is signaling. He wishes to discuss terms of our surrender. What's he gonna do? On screen, sir. There it is. Come. You still remember. Now you know. 
you hand over to me all data and material regarding the project called Genesis. Genesis? What's that? Don't insult oh. my intelligence. He knows. I give you 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Hurry up and figure it out. <laughs> oh, is there a problem? <laughs> that guy comes up. Punch up the data charts of Reliance Command Console. Reliance Command? Three. 45 seconds. The prefix code? It's all good. He knows how to think on his toes. Time is a luxury you don't. Okay, what's he gonna do? Admiral, it's coming through now, Tom. Just a minute, Mr. Khan. Assuming he hasn't changed the combination, he's quite intelligent. Fifteen seconds. Oh. I love how calm Spock is. He just walks off. He's like, yep. Stand by to receive our transmission. Lock the phasers on target and await my command. Phasers. Lock. They don't hear that, I guess. No. Hmm. Hoping the code still works. Oh. Shields are dropping. Bam. I can't. Uh oh. He's. Fire. Snap. Wow. Fire! We can't fire, sir. Why can't you? They've damaged the photon control. Yeah, they knew where to hit you. Oh, so no. much. He's so mad. Enterprise, we wait. She's not going anywhere. That was cool. Sir, you did it. I did nothing. <laughs> I did nothing. Meantime, let's find out how badly we've been hurt. Who is it? Oh no. It's terrible. So many people have been hurt. Oh, the young guy that he met. Is the word given, Admiral? The word is given. Warp speed. Aye. Did he die? Aww. Space Station Regular One, this is the Starship Enterprise. Please come in. Well, now they can explain what's happened. Sp oh no, did they get there first? Space Station Regular One, this is Enterprise. Please acknowledge. Uh-oh. What do you make of that planetoid beyond? Regular is class D. It consists of various unremarkable ores. Unremarkable. No flag officer shall beam into a hazardous area without armed escort. There's no such regulation. <laughs> All right, join the party. All right, join the party. Be careful. We will. <laughs> They're so, like, snarky with each other. Looks like they have their winter jackets on. I mean, something is obviously wrong. <laughs> they are not okay. Mm -mm. Oh. He's gonna bump into something. Oh no! Aww. Jim! Who? How many people did they kill? Oh! It was Khan. He found him on City Alpha 5. Easy. Easy. What about that thing? Put creatures in our bodies to control our mind. Yeah, but is it still in there? Made us say lies. Do things we need him. He thought he controlled us, but he did not. I don't know. The other guy doesn't look too good. Captain, where's Dr. Marcus? Where are the Genesis? He still has that thing in. The situation is grave, Admiral. We won't have main power for six days. Auxiliary power has temporary. Is he listening in? Where are we going? Where they went? To the planet. Suppose they went nowhere. <laughs> Then this will be your big chance to get away from it all. <laughs> big chance to get away, that's great. Here we go. Genesis, I presume. That's Genesis. Oh boy. Phasers down! He was mad from the start. Okay, somebody help him. Where's 
Dr. Marcus. I'm Dr. Marcus. Jim! Oh, why is he looking at him like that? Is that Dayton? Mother, he killed everybody we left behind. Hmm? David, you're just making this harder. I'm afraid it's even harder than you think, Doctor. Please, don't move. Oh, no. I... See you guys. Sorry, I don't know. They still aren't well. Your Excellency, have you been listening? I have indeed, Captain Randolph. Well, you, you son of a... Oh, boy. You have the coordinates to beam up Genesis. Kill Alucard. Oh, he doesn't want to, like, be there for it? He's so angry. Thought he'd just be like, I want to watch you go down. I tried to obey, but kill him. <laughs> oh, no. He's, you got this. You got this. Oh, no. Don't kill yourself. No. Oh. No. I mean, I guess. He, he, ooh, it's coming out. That's so gross. Con bloodsucker. You're gonna have to do your own. <laughs> He's like, oh, what? <laughs> yeah, it didn't work. You managed to kill just about everyone else, but like a fool, Marks. When you keep. Missing the target. Mm. What's he gonna do about it? Oh no! Oh, no he can't take it. Oh, he took it. He took it. I shall leave you as you left me. A room for all eternity. Set to live on a dead planet, buried alive. Oh. This is far better. I'm just gonna leave you there. How can you think of food at a time like this? First order of business, survival. There's food in the Genesis cave. Enough to last a lifetime. For a lifetime? Your teacher, Mr. Spock, is fond to say. I like to think that there always are possibilities. So they're gonna have a conversation. I'm wondering from his reaction at that guy. <laughs> Did what you want. Let's see. I stayed away. that his son? And I wanted him in mine. Not chasing through the universe with his father. Oh, it's his son. <laughs> he didn't know about him, I'm assuming. There's a man out there I haven't seen in 15 years trying to kill me. You show me your son, I'd be happy to help him. How am I feeling? Oh, worn out. Such a moment. Let me show you something. That'll make you Young as when the world was new. What is she gonna <laughs> What is she talking about? What is it? <laughs> oh it's the Genesis. The life forms grew later at a substantially accelerated rate. Well, they'll be just fine there. <laughs> Little does this guy know that he marooned him on a beautiful <laughs> planet the Genesis saved. I don't like to lose. Then you never faced that situation. Face death. I don't believe in a no-win scenario. There you go. I like it. Director Spock, it's two hours. Are you ready? Right on schedule, Admiral. Just give us your coordinates and we'll be... Oh, your... he, see, oh, right. he had it all planned out. What is we're here on? Not much, Admiral. We have partial main power. That's it? That's what we can do in two hours. So I some little surprise pulled up his sleeve. The odds will be even. Some cool shots in here. What is that thing? There she is. There she is. Oh, he thinks he's winning. Estimating nebula penetration in 2.2 minutes. Hmm. Reliant is closing. He probably loves having Spock aboard. He's such a calming... <laughs> he's so confident and he knows just what to say. This is Admiral Kirk. 
We tried it once your way, Carl. Now you can uh, <laughs> So like what? Full impulse power. No, sir. <laughs> you have Genesis. You can have whatever you Full power! Uh, I don't care. We have to get him. Oh, they're right <laughs> right above and below each other. What? Target, sir. Basil lock inoperative, sir. Best guess, Mr. Sue. Fire one ready. Oh wow, they're right on top of them. Oh. Everyone's so still. What is that? Why is it so You're like at the center of it? Oh man. It's happening again. <laughs> you won't break off now. Follow me this far. He definitely won't. All he wants to do is kill you. <laughs> Completely silent. They're building the <laughs> they're building the suspense. It's so weird, don't like me. Torpedo's ready, sir. Alright, they don't know it. Hurry up and shoot. <laughs> Fire. Oh, they really did hit him. Oh, they are tearing them apart. Surrender and prepare to be boarded. Oh, is that him? Get a prize to Reliant. You are ordered to surrender your vessel. Glove. Respond. Was it really worth it? He's probably still going to be like, no. <laughs> He's trying to do something. Is he trying to get them one last time, or is he just... The game's not over. He's just obsessed. Like, I'll get you if it's the last thing I do. It's the Genesis way. They're on a build-up to detonation. Uh-oh. And it warps speed in three minutes, or we're all dead. Or we're all dead. No response, Admiral. Get us out of here. Best possible speed. Well, Spock knows what to do. Are you out of your often mind? No human can tolerate the radiation that's in there. He's like, I'm not human. Remember. <laughs> Spock has got to be my favorite character. <laughs> too late. It's too late, Scotty. <laughs> I mean, if anyone can do this, it's him. Can't see what's going on at all. Distance from Reliant. Four thousand kilometers. Not gonna make it, are we? It's like we're gonna make it. For hate's sake, I spit my last breath at the All he cares about. Nobody else. Nothing else. <laughs> He's got it. Sir, the mains are back online. Yes, Scotty. Go, Zulu! Get out of there. Way to go, Khan. They're just zipping out of there. She's got her she's got her own little coat now. Yeah. I think you better get down here. Bones? What are they going to tell... Is it David, the son? No! You'll flood the whole compartment to die. He's dead. No, he's not. Aw. Don't breathe, Admiral. It's logical. It's logical. Don't... He said don't grieve him? What do you think? Solution. The way out kind of situation. This is making me tear up, but I know he's got to be okay. <laughs> oh, we shall be. Your friend. Hmm. Oh, he's doing the thing. Live long. And prosper. <laughs> Live long and prosper. Do it with him. Do it with him.
I mean, I don't know if he can do it, but... <laughs> I know he's gonna be okay. He's got to be in the other movies, so. But watching this for the first time, if I didn't know that, I would be crying <laughs> a lot more. Got a little teary. I know he's gonna make it. He's gonna be fine. Come on. We are assembled here today. Pay final respects. No. Wow. There is just no way, though. <laughs> Why am I not believing this? He's <laughs> not dead, right? I don't mean to intrude. I'm not wrong. I should be on the bridge. Doesn't he want to talk to him? He's wrong about you. And I'm sorry. Well, that's nice. Very proud to be your son. Oh, he knows. That's a good moment. I love that. <laughs> yeah, give him a hug. Come on. And yet I can't help wondering about the friend I leave behind. Spock. He's really not dead. Right? That's what one... As long as we remember. <laughs> I don't think he's dead. I just don't. Something Spock was trying to tell me. My birthday. On his birthday. Come on. How do you feel? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Young. young, okay. I thought he said, yeah. He feels young. Come on, you gotta give me something. Give me something with Spock here. I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah, you know it. Either Genesis is gonna, like, bring him back to life. Space. The final, the final frontier. frontier. I do remember that. I remember that line. Your ongoing mission to explore strength. Ooh, I like that Spock is doing this outro. And there we have it. There we have it. All right, guys. I, uh, okay, that really, this one really sets it up for getting excited about the next one. I felt the excitement building especially during that last bit. It's like, okay, now they're gonna do some things. That was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> the Spock thing, though, they almost had me. They literally almost had me believing that he might be dead, and maybe I just don't know the series. Maybe he just dies on the second movie, but it's not possible. So now I'm really wanting to see the next one, Cause, and I like the, I like the environment. I like the buildup. I love what they're doing with um, his son. I'm wondering if that's going to be a part of it. So that was really good. That was really good for setting it leading into the next adventure. Quite enjoyable. So um, I am excited. I'm going to catch you guys for the next movie. I actually don't to see what that one holds for us. Um, thanks for joining me, guys, for Popcorn Roulette on Wrath of Khan. Catch you guys next time.